What's the difference between these two idiomatic expressions? Much less versus let alone. As in the sentence, I didn't think I would forget my socks, much less my shoes. Or should it be, I didn't think I would forget my socks, let alone my shoes. Which one is correct? Well, the answer to that is both are equally correct and they both mean the exact same definition. The definition of both would be one negative action is even less likely than another negative action. As in forgetting my socks is a negative action, but forgetting my shoes is even more negative. So in the sentence, I wouldn't touch a stingray, much less, or let alone, a great white shark. Both are negative actions. Touching a stingray means you could get stung, or touching a great white shark means you could get your hand bitten off. Both are very negative. Much less versus let alone would be equally correct in that sentence. But which of those negative actions is always mentioned first, and which of the two negative actions is always mentioned second? The answer to that is the more important of the two negative actions will always be mentioned second, and the less important of the two negative actions would always be mentioned first. As in the sentence, I wouldn't go near rattlesnake, much less hold one in my hand, or I wouldn't go near a rattlesnake, let alone hold one in my hand. Which of the two is less important? Well, going near the rattlesnake. Which one is more important? Holding one in your hand because you could get bitten. And there's your basic difference. So in summary, both mean one negative action or thing is even less likely than another negative action or thing. And always mention the less important one first, and the more important of the two negative actions second. And there's your basic difference. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.